In fact, low testosterone is an independent risk factor for heart disease. Low testosterone might be an early indicator of metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance. And addressing low testosterone can decrease those risks for diabetes and heart disease. Plus, it obviously impacts quality of life if someone has low testosterone and it's symptomatic. We know from studies on men who have prostate cancer and are having androgen deprivation therapy that lowers their testosterone to treat their prostate cancer, that 50% of them develop metabolic syndrome. That's just proof of that link between low testosterone and the risk of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. How is that link established? Partly because we know low testosterone increases abdominal fat and central obesity. And we know abdominal fat, central obesity, belly fat is associated with metabolic syndrome and diabetes and heart disease risk. We also know that fat, adipose tissue, isn't just simple tissue. It's active. It's metabolically active and inflammatory. Adipose tissue makes inflammatory cytokines. It increases measures of inflammation like CRP. So you have a combination of a higher risk of heart disease from metabolic syndrome coupled with a high inflammation and you have a recipe for disaster in men who potentially could have less risk of that if the testosterone was tested and treated. So I'm not exaggerating when I say if Joe had had his testosterone checked sooner and been put on therapy, maybe he wouldn't have had that MI. I also tell you that it's no coincidence that these middle-aged men are gaining belly fat because if their testosterone is low, they're more apt to gain belly fat. Low testosterone is associated with putting on abdominal fat. That creates a vicious cycle. How does that happen? Belly fat, like I said, is active not only in making inflammatory mediators, but in making an enzyme called aromatase. Remember, aromatase converts testosterone to estrogen. So you end up with a cycle where a guy has low testosterone and an increased propensity to put on belly fat. Then that belly fat converts the testosterone he does have to estrogen, lowering his testosterone further. Even in a guy who may have started with normal testosterone, if he's eating a standard American diet and getting overweight, that fat is gonna convert some of that testosterone to estrogen. The longer that goes on, the lower the testosterone gets, the more fat he puts on, the harder it is to lose weight. You see the cycle that develops. 